It's bright and early in the morning. And unfortunately, I'm not quite as bright and early as the morning is. But I had to tell you about this film. Now, normally, for those of you that are regular viewers of my of my reviews and critiques, you know that I tend to shy away from documentaries, and biographical documentaries tend to be even more troublesome for me. But you may be happy to know that I found one that I really liked. Cinematic Class is about to begin, and you, a professor, is in. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, it's morning. <laughs> I'm Fiore, your cinematic professor, leading you down the path of cinema verite, right? Hey, this movie is called The uh, Hesburg, and it's about uh, the Reverend uh, uh, Theodore Hesburg, who uh, was the uh, university president at the University of uh, Notre Dame. This guy was really interesting. I got to tell you, I didn't know a a whole lot about them before I watched the um, uh, the documentary, uh, and it's a biographical documentary. But the way they put this thing together was really impressive, and I think that's what really helped uh, me enjoy this, and I think that's what's going to help you enjoy it as well. The opening uh, scene is is just a really nice mix of, of, of actual newsreel uh, clips of sound bites from people that knew him and, and, and the narrator, and it's all mixed in uh, really fast-paced, sharp, crisp, nice. Uh, so it starts the movie off with a bang, and they actually do this throughout the whole movie. There's uh, enough archived uh, news clips uh, of this guy uh, that they can incorporate those in. And then, apparently, uh, Father Hesburgh did a... Uh, uh, I guess a, a narration uh, as he was ending his career, talking about his, his history with Notre Dame and then with the various world figures that he interacted with. So what they do is they have an actor, uh, Maurice Lemaire, to come in and uh, read as if he is Father uh, Hesburgh, and he, he narrates kind of the film. It, it, it's a nice technique. It, it really works well. And uh, 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 Maurice does a nice job in, in presenting the, uh, the uh, uh, words of, uh, of Father Hesburgh. Uh, this guy was really fascinating. And, and what he did was, uh, uh, you know, it, it's one of those things where you had somebody who was a mover and a shaker, but he didn't come to the forefront. He stayed in the background, let others take the spotlight, and still got done what he needed to uh to get done. It was a very interesting story. Of course, because of it's older, most of it is in black and white, but it is interesting. There is one thing that uh, really goes south, and that is in the early years, say from uh, uh, the Kennedy Johnson era back, uh, they show this man as uh, being really uh, uh, all encompassing. Okay, he uh, deals with equal amounts of uh, politicians, both Democrats and Republicans. He deals with both liberals and conservatives. Uh, he even has a few words to say about this. And he's just somebody who constantly acts like a bridge when you have two factions that can't seem to agree on something. It's this guy who can come in and kind of make everything connect. There's a great scene where he does this with fishing. So when you see that whole sequence about fishing, it's it's really, it's kind of fun to, to watch. Something amazing happens. After the Nixon presidency, all right, the people in the modern times are all liberal Democrats. It's like this guy turned his back Okay, on anybody who was conservative or Republican. Now, a quick little Google search will tell you that is not the case. Okay, he wasn't dominated by a liberal ideology after Nixon. No, he continued his bridging work all the way through the end of his career. But the producers of this movie and their nice little slant go and get, you know, Joe Biden and, uh, uh, Barack Obama and Nancy Pelosi, and they fill the sound bites with these people, and they totally ignore the conservative right side of the people he interacted with 
effectively. Now, you know, how can you put together a biographical documentary that is really kind of spot on in the first half and then in the second half take this totally, you know, this is one of the things why you got to watch and be careful when you're watching documentaries, especially biographical documentaries, because any more producers who do these things can't help themselves. They've got to instill some kind of ideology that they agree with and some kind of agenda that they're trying to fill. The first, uh, I'd say, half to two-thirds of this movie were excellently put together. And then, of course, the agenda comes in and everything takes a slanted left turn uh, and becomes kind of, you know, well, useless after that. Up until that point, though, it's pretty good. And that's very, very odd for me to uh, come out and find one of these uh, biographical documentaries that I like. It's called Hesburgh, and it's worth of you now that you have learned what you have learned. You're into your lesson. <laughs>